What's going on, guys? Shout out for going on game. We're welcome back to part 10 of our Metal Gear Solid playthrough. Now, when we last left off, we had the big fight with Sniper Wolf, and uh, it was a bit of a hell to get through. But uh, we did it, and uh, we're moving on now, so. Not, not gonna keep you as much longer. Let's jump straight on in. And of course, drop a comment down below on what you guys think of the playthrough so far. Are you enjoying it? Please let me know. I want to I wanna know what you guys think of this. And as always, enjoy the video. Now, there are things in here that we can try and get, but I think some of these places are protected by cameras with torrents on them. So you got to be very careful with what you're doing. Or what I'm doing, at least, anyway. There's nothing in there, so it's grand. Nothing there, either. Alright. Here we go. There's something over here. Oh, ration. Yo. That was like a from um so look as you can see here, this is where we fought Sniper Wolf. She dropped some uh sniper bullets, but she did bleed coming down the stairs, so we know we didn't kill her. She is still alive, going by the looks of this. Uh this is a weird section of the game. Uh how we went from one boss fight into another straight away. But uh looks like we're all over it for now, so let's move straight on. Oh no. I remember this bit. Got a bit of a cutscene coming up here. I'm just gonna let it play out, and I'll obviously cut in every now and then. It's hard to miss when you're this close. Toss your weapon over here, slowly. You are a fool to come back here, stupid man. A lady sniper. Didn't you know that two-thirds of the world's greatest assassins are women? Do you want to die now? Or after your female friend? Which will it be? I'll die after I kill you. Is that right? Well, at least you've got spirit. I am Sniper Wolf. And I always kill what I aim at. Oh. You're my... Special prey. Got it. Oh, I've left my mark on you. I won't forget it. Until I kill you, you're all I think about. You know, personally, in my own opinion, Quiet from Metal Gear Solid 5 has absolutely got nothing. I want Sniper Wolf. Sniper Wolf is just awesome. Let's be honest here. Don't kill me. I'm still a man. Leave it to me. I want no more assets of the dark side. Yes, into my part of my The man who stole what was rightly mine. The man who stole my birthright. Me? I'm the man you stole everything good from. And now, after the sacrifice of our brothers, after 30 long years, the two of us meet. The brother of light and the brother of dark. Sounds like the plot to Batman vs. Superman. <laughs> Do you need his DNA too? Yes. I want a sample while he's still alive. We need it to correct the genome soldier's mutations. Then we'll be able to cure them? No. We still have to get our hands on Big Boss's DNA. Have they given in to our demands yet? Not yet. 
They won't give in. They're all hypocrites, every one of them. Is that your opinion as a Kurd? They always put politics first. That's right. That's why they want to avoid any leak about their precious new nuclear weapon. Boss, it looks like our friend is awake. Definitely is a resemblance, don't you think, little brother? Or should I say, big brother? I'm not sure. Anyway, it doesn't matter. You and I are both the last surviving sons of Big Boss. It's me. Really? Then what? Oof, those idiots! All right, Raven. I'll be right there. They're not responding to our demands. We launched the first one in 10 hours as planned. Damn Americans. Looks like you read them wrong. Something's funny. Normally the Americans are the first ones to the negotiating table. They must think they've got something up their sleeves. So it's come down to it, has it? We're going to launch that nuke and ride it all the way into history. I've got to take care of some launch preparations. You're in charge here, Ocelot. What about you? Want to stay for the show? I'm not interested. It's time to feed the family. So you prefer your wolves to my show, huh? Ocelot, don't screw up like you did with the chief. Yes, I know. That was an accident. I didn't think a pencil pusher like him would be so tough. Well, his mental defenses were reinforced by hypnotherapy. Boss. What about that ninja? He's killed 12 men. Whoever he is, he's some kind of lunatic. Bastard took my hand. How could he have gotten in here? Perhaps there's a spy among us. Mantis is dead. We've also got to find out what killed Baker and Octopus. We're short-handed, so make this little torture show of yours as short as possible. Torture? This is an interrogation. As you wish. See you later, brother. Ooh. You're the woman who's still in this world. Meryl. Catch you later, handsome. Once she picks a target, <laughs> she doesn't think about anything else. Sometimes she even falls in love with them before she kills them. Finally, just the two of us. How are you feeling? Not bad. Caught a nice nap on this revolving bed of yours. Too bad I was sleeping alone. Glad to hear that. This is some bed, all right. I'm about to show you some of its nicer features. Where are my things? Oh, don't worry. They're all there. Washington was taking quite a chance sending you here. Someone must have had a lot of faith in your skill, huh, carrier boy? So, Metal Gear is armed with a new type of nuclear warhead, huh? Why don't you go ask Campbell for the full story? The Colonel? By the way, you got an optical disc from President Baker, didn't you? What if I did? Is that the only disc? There's no other data? What do you mean? There's no copy? Do not. It's fine. Is Meryl okay? She's not dead yet. Wolf must have been feeling generous. But if you want her to stay that way, you better start answering my questions right now. You were holding one card key. Where are the other two? What's the trick behind that key? Trick? That weasel of a president said there's some kind of trick to using the key. Hell if I know. I see. No problem then. We're going to play a game, Snake. And we'll find out what kind of man you really are. When the pain becomes too great to bear, just give up and your suffering will end. But if you do, the girl's life is mine. All right, so this next bit here, the torture bit, um, has a lot of like connection to the way the game is going to end. There are two endings to Metal Gear Solid. For those you didn't know that, and uh, this is kind of where they decide which one you get. So, um, 
around no. So uh, I'm gonna have to do a lot of button mashing here. A long time since you saved your game. Yeah? So what? If your body can't survive the torture, it'll be game over. You really want to travel down that long road again? Come on, I won't tell. Why don't you just give up? I saved him. I'm going him. to run a high voltage electric current through your body. When did if I it's say just it? for a short time, it won't kill you. Oh yeah, the last time I say it was uh, at the end of part 9, so but I've got some bad hopefully the road no isn't too long. You're a hostage. There's no Geneva Convention. No one is coming to save you. Starting to feel a little scared. Come on, Oslo. Look, get on with it. You should be. Okay, let's get started. Alright, here we go. Intense button mashing. Gonna start my thumb first. And uh, okay, hopefully it goes fine. Go. I'm ready, I'm ready. Here we go. I'm already tapping. I'm literally tapping now. Oh, come on. Oh. How did you like that? Shall we go again? Yes, my thumb feels okay to go again. I'm gonna start tapping now. Uh, come on, come on, keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Ah, I'm losing it, I'm losing it, I'm losing it, I'm losing it. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get the hell up, go up, go back, come on. Ah. Oh. Health's not fully, but not high enough. Yet. I'm gonna switch to my index. Oh, shit. There we go. Still okay. Want me to go on? No, please, no more. Can you take one more? All right, last one. Here we go. Come on, we can do this. Come on. Oh my God, it's getting very close to the bottom. Okay. Woo. Strong man. Well, that's enough for now, I think. You're the boss's brother, all right. Your brother, he's an amazing man. Who else could shoot down two F-16s with a hind helicopter? The Les Enfanteries project was not a total failure. He is the one man who could make my dream into a reality. That was, uh, that was a bit of a hell, but uh, we got through it relatively okay. This episode may be a little bit uh, a bit of a drag. Not a lot is going to happen because we kind of switch from the... Looks like I got a room. Oh, yeah. The DARPA chief. Anyway, as I was saying... This is this video might just switch between uh, the cell and uh, the torture chamber. Fun thing about the Darpa chief and why he's here and all that jazz is because the Darpa chief we met in the cell was actually one of the terrorists, and uh, that guy there is the naked guy from when we found the Darpa chief. I'm gonna actually check under the bed. Is there anything down here? No. No, get out from under the bed. We can we can go under there and hide from the guard. And then I believe he comes in, he's like, get out of there and then we can attack him and escape. But I have a better way to do it. There's actually a trick you can do with Otacon where he gives you ketchup and you can pretend to be dead and come in and the guard will like get you and all that shit. I'm gonna try that way, so it might take a while. Sorry about Meryl, but I want the lies to end now. 
What are you talking about? Metal Gear was designed to launch a new type of nuclear warhead, wasn't it? We Tensions are rising to between to all these people. What are we gonna do? Why did you try to hide it? I'm sorry. Can't tell the grunts, huh? You've changed a lot. Metal Gear, secret advanced nuclear weapons research. Does the White House know about this? How deep does it go? As far as I know, as of yesterday, the president had not been briefed about the Rex project. Need to know basis, is that the idea? These are sensitive times. Even subcritical nuclear tests are causing quite a stir. Plausible deniability, huh? Yes. And tomorrow, the president and his Russian counterpart are scheduled to sign the START Three Accord. I get it. That's the reason for the deadline. That's right, Snake. And that's why we can't let this terrorist attack go public. We still haven't even ratified START Two or dealt with the issue of TMDs. This has to do with the president's reputation and America's place as the dominant superpower. So patriotism is your excuse for circumventing the Constitution? Please, Snake. Just stop them. Why should I? Because you're the only one who can. Yeah, because I'm the only one in the fucking Tell base. The truth about this new type of nuclear warhead. I told you before. I don't know the details. I don't believe you. If the situation is so serious, why don't you give in to their demands? Let them have Big Boss's remains. You see? Or is there some reason that you can't do that? Something you haven't told me about? Publicly, the president has been very vocal in his opposition to eugenics experiments. We don't want the existence of the genome army to go public. And that's the only reason? Huh. Hell with you. I'm sorry. The corpse of the DARPA chief is lying right here next to me. Poor man. But it's strange. He looks and smells like he's been dead for days. All his blood's been drained out, too. Drained? Maybe to slow down decomposition? I have no idea. But the chief only died a few hours ago, right? Right. But he's already started to decompose. What could it all be about? Something in his blood that they wanted? I doubt it. Just the nanomachines in the transmitter. Did the chief tell them his detonation code? I'm afraid so. It looks like they've got both codes and are nearly ready to launch. Damn. Is there any way to prevent it? It seems that there's some type of emergency override device that can cancel out the detonation code. It's a countermeasure that ArmsTech installed secretly. You have to unlock it with three special card keys. And where are those keys? I'm amazed that they don't actually know about the card keys now because they've been talked the about are. since like Besides, Baker. Locked up here. And We've got no choice. Forget you know, about the keys. Campbell's been listening in on the conversations that I've been having, so I don't know what's going on. Sorry to have to lay it all in your lap. Sorry for jumping in there, in case you guys wanted to listen to what they were saying. And get to the communications tower. Also, what? I know it's asking a lot. Meryl, right? Yeah. I'll save her. Thanks. All right, so we just gotta play the waiting game until the Autocon comes in. But I think we do go back out into the, um... I think we do go back out into the torture. Before Otacon does show up. Which is kind of irritating because... There's not a lot we can do in here. But, uh... Just gotta do what we have. Keep knock. <laughs> Keep messing with his guard. I'm actually knocking on the bed, but nothing's happening. Shut up in there, will ya? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, come on, Otacon. I wonder if I can actually call Otacon. That might get his attention to come. Otacon, are you still okay? Yeah, thanks to the stealth camouflage, that is. I have a favor to ask. I need your help. I was wondering when you'd ask. <laughs> what I should have called him earlier. <laughs> I'm locked up here in this cell. What cell? There's a big torture machine nearby. Okay, I know it. It's close. I'll be there right away. Thanks. Yeah, I forgot. If you if you don't call Otacon and you wait, um, the cyborg ninja comes down and breaks you out of the cell. I'm hopefully going to get the Otacon way, because it's definitely the best and coolest way to break out of the cell. Ah, oh, shit. It's showtime. That's a lot, want you. Back in for more fucking 
more torture. I'm going to put it out there now. This video might be a little bit longer than the other ones because it is literally just waiting. There's not a lot I can do or anything that I can like help to speed it up. Unfortunately, it does have to be this long, unfortunately. Okay. It's an unfortunately twice. Press the circle button repeatedly to regain your strength. When you've had enough, press the select button to submit. When your life reaches zero, the game is over. There are no continues, my friend. I've fought wars in Afghanistan, Mozambique, Eritrea, and Chad. Among the Mujahideen guerrillas, I was known and feared as Shalashaska. I was trained by the Russian group. I am not like one of those KGB slugs. To me, this isn't torture. It's a sport. You're all just a bunch of sadists. Don't confuse me with those uniformed fools. Well, shall we begin? All right, here we go. Gonna get okay, my thumb ready. Go. Because this is the second bout of torture and it's really fucking difficult to survive. I'm actually button mashing now. Come on, keep it up, keep it up. First one is always the easiest, you will always get your health back up to full after it. It's the ones after that where you really need to like, button mash. Shall we go again? Yeah, because see the time limit is extended and it's not nice. Oh, uh, there we go. Get the health up as high as I can. Yeah, it's back on full. That's not bad. That that's actually really not bad. We're not finished yet. Oh, round three. Oh my god, come on. Oh, he's getting my health down really good. Get it back get it back up. Oh, it's back on full, yes. Okay. Want me to go on? Oh please. Can you take one more? Alright, this is the last one. This is the last one. Good, I'm, ha I'm happy with that now. Just gotta button mash again. You know, when it comes down to me editing this video, I will find out if I'm able to hear the button mashing. And if you guys can, then you can hear how hard I'm hitting it. Oh, get it back up. Oh, no, it's fine. We're done now. You're a strong man. Well, that's enough for now, I think. We live in a sad age. Imperialism, totalitarianism, perestroika. 20th century Russia has had its share of problems, but at least they had an ideology. Russia today has nothing. They're struggling between freedom and order, and with that struggle, a new spirit of nationalism has been born. The boss has a close friend high up in the Russian government. He's currently the head of Spetsnaz. He's agreed to purchase this new nuclear weapons system. The hind was just a down payment. So you're in this for money? I don't need money. I want Russia to be reborn. To lead a brave new world order. The worst part about Osla is no one really knows if what he says is the truth. Like, there's a lot of times in throughout this entire series where you're a bit confused on what Ocelot's mo uh, motives are. And uh, that becomes extremely clear. In Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater, like, he's just all over the shop in that. But if we get around to playing Metal Gear Solid 3 on the channel, then you will see it there. That's if you guys want it, of course. And it depends on how this one goes, you know. Okay, so we just gotta wait on Otacon. I'm actually gonna give him a ring and see what it, where he is. Otacon, I'm headed your way now. Can't you just relax? I am relaxed. I just don't know how to kill time here. Be there as soon as I can. All right, so he's taking his uh, sweet ass time. We're just gonna chill here and uh, oh, getting a call. You okay, Snake? Yeah, nothing new to report. Snake, is there anything I can do? Yeah, my arm hurts. Poor Snake. I'll increase the level of painkillers in your blood. Okay. But you can leave out the Benzedrine. That stuff makes me too frisky. <laughs> I guess you're not feeling too bad after all. 
Snake, put the controller up against your arm. What? Don't worry. It'll feel good. I am actually doing this, to be honest. Okay, I am putting the controller to my arm. I do this every time I play the game. And it vibrates. Oh. It's so feel? weird. How did you do that? I stimulated your muscle fibers with the nanomachine cilia. That's about all I can do for you. Naomi, please talk to me. It's it's say crazy this game. My mind off the pain. What can I say? Anything. I I'm not a very good talker. Please. Tell me about yourself. Myself. That's a tough one. Any family? <sighs> That's not a happy topic for me. I don't have any family. No. Wait. There was a man who said he was my father. Where is he? Dead. By my own hand. Big Boss. What? Big Boss? I had no idea. There was no way you could. It happened in Zanzibar six years ago. Only Snake and I know the real truth of what happened there. So, is it true? Was Big Boss really your father? That's what he said. That's all I know. And you were able to kill him? Knowing that? Yep. How? He wanted it. Besides, some people just need killing. That's petricide. Yep. That's the drama that Mantis was talking about. The one we share in common. Is that why you left Foxhound? Let's just say that I needed to be alone for a while. Alaska was the perfect place. <sighs> Snake. I didn't have a real family either. Just a big brother who put me through school. We weren't even blood related and he was much older than me. Where is he? He's dead. I'm sorry. Snake, is there a woman in your life? After you've been through as many wars as me, it's hard to trust anyone. <laughs> Friends? Roy Campbell. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Is that it? No. There was another. Frank Yeager. What? Big Boss's most trusted lieutenant. And the only member of Foxhound ever to receive the code name Fox. Gray Fox. I learned a lot from him. But didn't you try to kill each other? That's true. We did. In Zanzibar. But it was nothing personal. We were just professionals on opposite sides, that's all. And you still call yourself friends? Hard to believe. War is no reason to end a friendship. That's insane. I first met him on the battlefield. He was being held a prisoner of outer heaven, but he didn't look like a prisoner to me. He was always so cool and precise. I was still green, and he showed me the ropes. He knew him well? No. We never talked about our personal lives. Sort of an unwritten rule. The next time I saw him on the battlefield, we were enemies. We were fighting barehanded in a minefield. I know it sounds strange to most people, but we were just two soldiers doing our job. It's like a sport. Men in their games. You're like wild animals. You're right. We are animals. So if you were friends, then how do you explain the ninja's behavior? I don't know. It's your genes. They make you predisposed towards violence. You really like talking about genes, Naomi. Why did you get into genetic research anyway? I never knew who my parents were, or even what they looked like. I guess I got into genetics because I wanted to figure out why I am the way I am. So you studied about DNA? <laughs> yeah. I thought if I studied my genetic structure, I'd find out who I really was. I thought that by analyzing a person's genetic information, I could retrieve the blank spots in that person's memory. Memory is stored in DNA? We're not sure, but we know that a person's genetic fate is determined just by the sequence of the four bases in their DNA. So what about my fate? You know my DNA sequence, don't you? Your fate? I, I'm sorry, I have no idea. Of course not. You're a scientist, not a fortune teller. I'm just looking at the counter on the video here and it says like 
30 something minutes here. Oh, the guard's getting cramps in his stomach. That means that Otacon should be coming in very, very soon. And uh, hopefully we can get out of here nice and fast. Uh, should, I'm going to keep an eye out here. You'll see Otacon coming in. Otacon, please come. Come on. <laughs> yeah. There he is there. Hey, I'm here. Where? Yeah, yeah. All right, here we go. Give me the ketchup, quick. It's me, Otacon. Wow, they even captured you. Hurry, get me out of here. Uh, let me go, that hurts. Hurry up. You ask a guy a favor? Let me go. Jeez, it's like an animal's cage. Oh, what a smell. Because of him. Yeah, it's the DARPA chief. You don't hurry up and get me out. What was that sound? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> bastard. This lock won't open with a security card. You need a key like the soldiers carry. So, what are you doing here? He brought food. I, I thought you might be hungry. If you need more food, I can bring some more later. Also, I got you this level six card. It'll get you out of that torture room. Here, take this too. What's this? It's a handkerchief. I got it from Sniper Wolf. Why? I don't know why, but she's nice to me. Sounds like Stockholm Syndrome to me. I was taking care of the dogs here. After the terrorists took over, they were planning to shoot all the dogs. But Sniper Wolf stopped them. She even let me feed them when I asked. She likes dogs. She must be a good person. Please don't hurt her. Wake up, you idiot. She's the one who shot Meryl. Well, that's all I can do. They're planning to launch a nuke. I've got to stop them. Then you have to get past the communications tower. First, you have to get me out of here. Come on, I'm trying my best. That guard's got the key. You'll have to take him out. Give me a break. I'm no soldier. I can't take anybody out. You have to. I'll be killed. <laughs> oh, jeez. He's coming back. See you later. If I work fast enough, I will be able to get down Wait. and use the ketchup. I will do that nice and fast, so we can equip it and do that. And it looks like blood seeping out a snake. <laughs> so we just gotta wait here for the guard to come back in and hopefully he'll cop on that we're bleeding and he'll think we're dead and then all that just we also have a handkerchief. I'll talk more about that once we get out of here. Provided the guard actually cops on that we are, you know, half dead. Yes, there we go. So he'll come in. And then we can just wait for him to get up and then flip him again. And he's out like a light. And we can quickly make a move. Not even gonna wait for the guy to wake up. Grab that ration there. And pop out the level 6 key card. And there is a camera in here, but our gear is in here. So we gotta just run around. Snakes Adams. Coolio. We can check out his shaft now because we have them back. And then we get out of his room. And that'll be it. Just like that. And as you guys, in case you haven't noticed, we are back where we left off. This is where we found the DARPA chief. And uh, that was that room that I said you could get basically go in with the cheats. This was a long episode, I will admit. A uh, lot longer than the other ones. And it'll probably be the longest video that I upload in this series. Hopefully, anyway. But, um, yeah, I'm definitely going to wrap it up here because, you know, we didn't really do much in that episode. It was a lot of cutscene and just 
the torture and stuff but i'd like to thank you very much for watching if you liked the video be sure to click that like button and of course leave a comment with your thoughts on the series and don't forget to share this video with your friends so they can see it and they can love it like you did and all that jazz and of course if you're new to the channel we can be able to our new and upcoming videos exactly like this and more then be sure to click that subscribe button on the screen right there i've also have links to our various social medias in the description below so you can Go check them out. Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, all that jazz are down there. If you want. Now, obviously, you don't have to if you don't want to. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, once again, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next part. But until then, remember, for all your news reviews, playthroughs, and previews, stick with going all gamer.